Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at different types of knives from thick to thin to short. I hope this will be interesting to you and helpful to you down the road. So today I want to show you four different knives that I think is very beneficial in carving. And again, you don't have to have a whole lot of knives. That's easy for me to say. <laughs> but for you to get started, I would re recommend of having a roughing knife. And so I'm going to set these three and we're just going to start with the biggest tool that we have. And this is a roughing knife. This is a Ron Wells number two. And this was used for roughing out whenever you did uh, bandsaw cuts out, cutouts. And it is a basically what we call a, a wood hogger. It just hogs a lot of wood. There's not much flexibility with it. And you can get in here and, I mean, go to town. You won't have to worry about, uh, you know, really, you can just really be rough as you want with this guy. And... Uh, at the end of the day, it's still going to perform. These knives are not no longer made by Ron. It's uh, Mike Shipley, uh, o o OCC Tools in Dora, Missouri. And he's only making six of these still and uh, different sizes. But this is what they call a roughing knife. And uh, so I'd recommend if you're going to get into carving, get you a good heavy duty. Uh, and that way you can plunge it into things uh, as you are making your, your plane cuts and stop cuts and things and really moving a lot of wood. So I'd really, really recommend a good heavy duty knife. The key to this knife though, is it's flat planed um, blade. There's no bevel to it. It's just flat planed and it's just as flat as you can get it. And so I love a flat plane knife on all of my tools. I don't like any bevels on my, on my knives. So that's just a thought for you to keep in mind when you're shopping for knives. And also, too, the comfortability of handling uh, a handle is important, too. All right, now let's move on to our second knife I recommend is, is a uh, detailing knife. And again, this has no bevel, and uh, it is a flat plane knife. And it is to get into areas, you know, you can make eyes with it, you know, you can get in between areas. It's a little longer. You can get in between the legs of things and whatever. And, uh, but it's just, it's nice flexibility. And uh, so I'd recommend a thin bladed knife like this here and that way you can get into areas and uh, be a helpful to you in your carving, especially when you're getting down to the detailing work uh, with your rough out or your bandsaw cut out. And so I would not use this to hog a lot of wood off because you'll be there all day long and uh, it'll be hard on the tool. And this is made for um, just, you know, general carving of every day, but uh, especially during your detailing. Now let's move on to our, our second knife, our third knife. And this is a short blade knife. As you can see, it's, it's a detailed knife. I've, over the years, I have honed this down and shaped the wood um, to get, and this knife used to be literally long, but now it's my little detail knife that I use to put in uh, when I'm creating my eyes. And so I'd recommend any short bladed knife like this here. Again, this is a flat plane uh, a knife on it. And so there's, there's no bevel to it. And again, this is great for doing eyes, uh, cutting the, you know, the mouth in, getting to areas that you need to put some hair in or whatever. And so it's just a great, really good knife. My fourth knife I recommend, this is a Don Mertz. And uh, this is a pelican shaped knife and it's a very uh, flexible and uh, it is for getting and undercutting and creating shadows in your in your woodwork in your carving that you're doing now again this is not made for heavy duty carving as you can see it's got a very very thin blade here at the end and or tip and so again it is also flat and again why flat blades I, I like it because it you can move through the wood pretty quick and uh, it just cuts through there like it, there's nobody's business so again this is not made for roughing out like our first knife that we showed you but this is for undercutting creating shadows and uh, it's just a great all-around little knife to be able to help you become a better carver so these four knives i'd recommend to you if you're getting started and again your roughing knife your detailing knife and your short bladed knife for detailing and also for shade, uh, shadowing on your carving. So these will be four great uh, knives that you can have in your tool bag or your caddy that will help you become uh, a good carver by taking care of them and buffing them every day and uh, using them the way they should be used. I hope this has been helpful to you because it helped me over the years to be able to see the different types of blades and knives, what purpose they're for. Again, don't abuse your tools 
Uh, they're made to help. They're just an extension of your hand. And if you'll take care of them, they'll take care of you and make good clean cuts that'll make you a happy carver. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon and happy carving.